Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett at HardOCP.com and today what we're going to do is show you how to install the AMD Ryzen Threadripper, which uh, this is our processor here. And there's our motherboard here on the test bench. The one we are using today is the Gigabyte X399 Aorus Gaming 7. Um, Seems to be a really nice motherboard. I have not used it yet. Seems tremendously well constructed. The motherboard itself weighs about three pounds. So let's come in here a little tighter and show you the socket. I will tell you right now, I've been dealing with these sockets for a long, long time. And uh, the pins on this socket are extremely fragile. These are much more fragile than what I've been used to dealing with on our Intel counterparts. Now, when you get this, um, when you get your thread ripper, you will come with a uh, Torx head wrench screwdriver. This is actually a torque wrench to allow you to torque down the uh, bolts here, screws down properly. And also, it comes with a mounting bracket for Ace Tech based AIO coolers, which is pretty nice. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is you notice you have three mounting points you have one, two, and three. You will want to loosen the two on the one end. Let's get in it. Let's do this evenly. That one's loose. That one's loose. Now let's come down here and get our last. Now, this uh, retention module is spring loaded, so you'll see it comes up by itself. Get our tool out of the way, and it opens up for us. So, there you go. Pretty nifty. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is open up the actual um, the location device for the CPU itself. Let me get this turned around for you. So, what's important here is... You see these two tabs on this end. These are actually uh, colored blue on this one. I do not know if all motherboards will be this color, but you have the two tabs that uh, show here. So what we want to do is, and this is, this is a little bit tricky, and it doesn't feel really right, but we kind of want to pull up just right there on the tabs, and it'll pop up, okay? Now be it, you can see these are kind of bent up at the end, so you could uh, leverage those up with your fingers that way. But since our, uh, our cooling device is in the way on this particular motherboard, you can't quite get the leverage like you should want to be able to. But you want to be really, really careful here. Okay? This is spring-loaded as well. So once we get that up, you'll see the uh, placeholder card for your CPU in here. You need to grab that and tug just a little bit and slide out. And you can slide the holder out of there. Okay. So once we do that, we have our Threadripper CPU. You want to leave it in this, uh, definitely want to leave it in this orange shrouding uh, so we can locate it properly. So let's uh, take this and make it my hand out of the way. And you can drop this right down in here. And my hand's still in the way. So I'm going to take this and drop this right down in here. Don't force it. Let it slide easily. If you feel it come to the bottom, you want to give it a little push. There it is. And it locks in. So there's a little notch right there at the bottom. You'll feel it. Now we're in all the way. Now, we want to lay our... Um, Thread over down in the socket, but obviously we want to remove the shroud here. So both sides there, a little pinch and a pull, and it comes right out. Now I'm going to talk to you about these pins again because these pins are extremely delicate. I have already destroyed this socket. I took this apart to give me a little practice here, make sure what I wanted to show you on camera. Uh, reinstalling this, I damaged the pins in this upper corner and then trying to fix it I ended up brushing my finger across the tips of some pins 
right down here and I misaligned those as well. I do think I destroyed the socket. Now this will not be particular to Gigabyte, but even these pins compared to the Intel pins that we've seen, the uh, LGA sockets we've seen down on board, these are tremendously, tremendously delicate. And uh, I, do not, I do not know if I'm gonna be able to repair this. And this perfectly illustrates why they've done this kind of mounting mechanism with this board, because they do not want you physically using your hands to lay that uh, CPU down on there. So now we've got our CPU there installed. We can uh, go by the tabs here, should lay down the socket, and we click it down. All right, you might be able to push around the edges. I don't see why it would not seat in there properly. So we're coming back, lay this down, use our Torx wrench again, come in. Now this, uh, you wanna get a turn or two on that. Let's push, gotta push down a little bit harder. Do we have threads? Now, practicing this, I would suggest you get one thread on the single end first. Go ahead and come down here to this end. Get a thread there. Screw it in until you get a thread there. You do not want to put pressure down here on these yet. You want to uh, make sure you lock down the single end first. Now this, uh, the install tool works extremely well. So we're, it is, like I said, a torque wrench and we're waiting for our click. Here it comes. There you go, we're now torqued properly. Let's come back over here to our other end. I would get a few turns there, get a few turns there, Whoop. get a few turns there. Come back to the other side, I would say do this evenly. Okay, we're about to torque again. Yep, see? So we're all locked down and there we are. So that's our thread ripper install. Obviously, you will need to uh, use some uh, thermal interface material. And if you're gonna install your cooler, like I said, here's the uh, Ace Tech bracket that comes with it. We'll hand screw down in there and so you can get your AIO on there. Uh, as far as using other cooling methods, uh, this is a very different offset on these. It's not square, so you have to wait for solutions from vendors or you're going to have to uh, fabricate your own, which honestly shouldn't be that difficult if you have access to the tools. Anyway, there's your AMD Threadripper install done with our Gigabyte Aorus X399 Gaming 7. Again, be tremendously careful around these pins. They are extremely, extremely delicate. You simply do not want to touch them at all. This is Kyle Bennett with Hardo CP.